Okay, I'm going to do a little demo on the Cradle Point CTR350 and uh, my old T-Mobile HD2, which I have um, put a unlimited 40 amount, uh, $40 a month data chip in it, which is called Simple Mobile. More for the people, less for the man. I like their little slogan. They got it in Spanish too. Más para la gente, menos para el jefe. Pretty nice. Um, here's the cradle point with some of my chips that I also use while traveling. Got one from uh, Orange, from Vodafone, and one from T-Mobile. So when I travel, I can just swap them out into my uh, opened up uh, T-Mobile. It has no subsidy lock, so I can uh, put in um, whatever chip I need for the country that I'm in. I've got some other ones too for Mexico and Central America. So um, the, the program I'm using is called My Wi-Fi Router and uh, it has several settings. I'm going to use the uh, 3G to USB here. Press that. It starts up my things here. The uh, Cradle point has to be turned on too here. Okay, put that on. And it's uh, waiting for connection here. Don't need to really worry about this disk drive active sync. It'll pass through that. And it says it's waiting for the connection. Ordinarily, I could connect directly to this, but it uh, only uses ad hoc, and as you know, Android does not support ac uh, does not support uh, ad hoc mode. So the Cradle Point will create a infrastructure access point, which I can use my Android to hook to my Android phone here, my Exhibit. Um, Exhibit 2 by Samsung. Now I'm going to connect up with this by in my settings, wireless network by settings, and I've got it right here. CTR 167 is the name of the access point. And I connect to that, and I get an IP, and I'm ready to test with my applications. Uh, we'll do some YouTube. Now everyone's probably wondering why I don't just use a uh, Android phone to uh, here to um, to tether. Uh, the reason is is I I did originally, and uh, the, the the application was disabled somehow remotely. Well, that's the beauty of the old uh, system here. The um, 6.5 is that uh, the the application will remain in my phone and work and uh, there won't be uh, any external um, actions taken to, to turn it off not only that I can swap out my chips T-Mobile Vodafone uh, Orange and get the local rates as I'm traveling and uh, a lot of them have pretty reasonable data plans uh, I can also log in 
on my laptop. I can even have a second uh, phone, Android phone, connected up. Um, so uh, that's neat. There really isn't any limit uh, of the devices I can hook up here because I have a uh, um, plenty of uh, capability here to, to, to hook additional uh, uh, devices up, even uh, things that uh, you wouldn't be able to log in or, or, or uh, connect up to, you, you can because uh, you can turn off the encryption and, and just have it uh, see the access point and, and connect right up. So that's what we're doing with the uh, cradle point. I also have it on a uh, battery, USB battery power supply and the USB gives the uh, cradle point its 5 volts to run wherever I go uh, portable. So not only can I use it around uh, home, I can use it uh, on the go worldwide and share uh, internet with whoever and uh, and whatever and uh, not worry about uh, any of the features of Android uh, that would detect tethering or uh, that your usage so sometimes oldies are uh, goodies um, you probably uh, keep this uh, 6.5 uh, for quite some time here since uh, it does seem to be quite useful.